Good morning traders, Paul here with Gamma Edge. Today is Thursday, the 11th of August. Let's get started. Pause your players, please read this. If you agree, hit that play button. Market models remain bullish. Uh, we had good breadth yesterday as indicated by the 52 week new highs uh, outpacing the new lows. You can see looking back, we've been in this transition phase where we're now starting to get more breadth. That's good for the bulls. We saw some accumulation from the large players early in the morning using the filtered cumulative tick. Uh, it tapered out through the rest of the day. So some initial buying, uh, but no real urgency from the large players compared to selling that you see here or things like that. Throughout the day, just the single day cumulative tick did acquire quite a, much, quite a bit over time. Uh, that is good. That steady accumulation is uh, indicative of no real panic, but uh, accumulation of uh, individual shares, etc. And uh, that's also good for the, the bulls. When we take a look at the overall model, the long-term signal is intact. We've got positive slope on all the moving averages. That's good. Uh, we've got the short-term moving average over the long-term moving average. That's uh, confirmation. And we've got the white cumulative tick that is above the ribbon. That's good on an intermediate scale. And then the white cumulative tick, you can see the crossing of these shortest term moving averages. And that actually puts us into a uh, end of day buy signal. So this is actually indicating that uh, if uh, you are not in the market, you may want to add to uh, a, a long position. Uh, we are somewhat long in the tooth. Uh, I did misspeak uh, last night on the open mic. Uh, I had indicated that the ribbon inversion was at day 21. The overall model is on day 21, day 22. In fact, it just completed day 21 yesterday. The ribbon inversion is a our slowest indicator. It takes a while to confirm. And that actually, I went back and looked, it started on the 19th of July, uh, where the short-term signals uh, started earlier than that. Go to Taylor's blog entries uh, within the Discord and you'll see that in detail. What's important is, is that we're on day 18 today, the 11th of August. The SPX condition, as you would expect, uh, we saw a lot of short-term calls going in. Uh, we saw short-term puts coming out and that gives us the change in the wing shapes. Uh, I pay specific attention to the SPXA, that is the monthly settled SPX. Uh, we consider that the super tanker, the mothership, whatever moniker you want to throw on it, this is the institutional money, and we saw a significant move in that yesterday. So we want to pay attention to that and uh, just see what uh, what is happening. Taking a look at the zeros, the zeros are continue on their upward trend in both the gamma zero and the delta zeros. The gamma zeros, of course, are shorter term in nature. The delta zeros are shorter and longer term. Uh, they combine uh, deltas, still uh, time sensitive, but uh, uh, combines a, a, a timeline that is a little longer than, than the, uh, the gamma. What's important here is that the trend is intact to the upside. Markets are switching the nose of the, uh, uh, of the super tanker around. We are uh, bullish and what we're looking to see now is just that this trend continues. Uh, we may get some weakness. We never know. Uh, this is not predictive. It just shows the uh, the path that we are on. So the PM settled here uh, is a, a, a little more reactive. The AM settled as the institutional money is not as reactive. And then, of course, when you combine the two, you get this presentation. SPY, you can see, is, is looking good. Q's looking good. IWM is still looking good. So just pay attention to those. Key levels uh, highlighted 4,300. That's the major change that if you take nothing else away from today, we have moved up. Yesterday, the negative gamma exposure for the SPX complex went from 3,900 to 4,000. And overnight last night, uh, or yesterday's action into uh, this morning, uh, we're showing a transition from 42 to 43. That is significant. And you can see how they map between the PM settled and then the combo levels. So just pay attention to this fairly significant amount here. Um, I also want to call out the expected move is dropped below 2%. Uh, that puts the upside range conservatively 
uh, estimated if you're selling premium you can probably sell up above this area um, with with um, knowing that uh, there is an upside target there of 4300 but um, you can probably get some good premium and then the downside we think 4150 is the line in the sand and I'll talk a little bit more about that here zero DTE very clean transition at 4190 4195 pay attention to that uh, not much contribution in the zero DTE above 4250 so take a look at this range um, we could have intraday action of course but in general uh, that 4190 looks uh, looks like it is where uh, moneyness flips and, and where the deltas are going to start flipping on the zero DTE the combo uh, called out one two and three here these are the key levels that we're watching for today 4300 to the upside 4150 which is now down below us very significant delta level there um, and then uh, all the way on down to uh, 4,000. 4,000 remains remarkable. We're over uh, 118 billion in net notional down here. Um, we're not going to plow through this any one, any one day. Uh, we've never seen anything of that magnitude. Half of that, yes, but uh, not anything over 100 billion. That's for sure. Uh, keep keep an eye on that. Uh, transition zone is is loose and very subjective. Uh, I'm going to call the 4080, 4085, and 4130, 4135 zone as that that range. Um, not expecting that we're going to go down there. We want 4150 to hold, but uh, just be aware that we do get into some transition. Uh, still very very dominant in. Uh, positive deltas when we see that and really no sign changes in here this is a very strong structure uh, to uh, support to the upside if we do start moving downward um, it's going to be slow and controlled there is not going to be any panic uh, given this structure um, there's there's just too much deltas to plow through um, and the models uh, don't change that fast as uh, as we've been reading in uh, in Twitter bursts there <laughs> Uh, upside, keep an eye on this uh, 4225, 4250, especially the coincident uh, with that 4250 on the zero DTE. I can see this. And uh, as many of you know, this 4220, 4225 level is a key level uh, from a uh, bearish downtrend that, uh, that I posted in the, uh, the Discord. Don't put a lot of credence into it, but just be aware that it exists. Finally, I want to draw your eye down here to the lower right. 31% uh, of the SPX vaporizes between now and the end of next week. It's a over $2 trillion uh, movement. Um, that money has to go somewhere. So we need to watch that distribution, and uh, we have the tools to watch where that's going in an indirect way. Come on into the Discord, and uh, we, can, we can discuss that more. The SPX structure here, uh, here's that new gamma level. Uh, up here at 43. Uh, here's the 42, which was yesterday's. You can see relative magnitudes, even from down here. Um, 42 does get second place, no question. And for 43 to take it as the price moves up, this will grow. Um, so 43 is definitely dominant within the structure. Just be aware of all of that. Uh, 4150, you can see to the downside, there really isn't anything down there. So 4150 is the line in the sand. We do start seeing some negative. Uh, gamma, and this is the transition zone that I talked about uh, right in here below this 4080, 4085 level. Uh, you can see that things get pretty dicey all the way on down to uh, 4005 and then 4000, and below that, you know, it's lights out. We're we're back in a different uh, different regime. It's going to take some time to get down there, so just be aware of all that. So that's it for today. Um, your takeaways are this. We are back up on a one-day reversal. The long-term trend remains intact and up. Make sure you understand this. you got to be on the right side of the market. And uh, our market model has kept you in the trade since mid-July. And so I would uh, advertise to everyone, uh, if you don't have a good good timing model to know to the primary trend, uh, come, come look at it. SPX Complex, as, as well as the SPY, the Qs, and the IWM continue to show calls being added. Puts being closed, that's bullish. Um, we have this week zero DTE today. We're watching that 4190 and 4250 as a zero contribution, zero DTE contribution. And then I want everyone to take this away that the plus GEX has moved up to 43. You saw how strong 43 and 42 are, so just be, pay attention to that. 
Uh, we also are looking at that 4150 that I talked about. Uh, that is the last line in the sand. And if we lose that 4150 for any reason, that puts us back into transition. And then that would you know, take some of that fuel and, and momentum away. So we'd have to watch that pretty carefully. So I would urge everyone to come join us, uh, gammaedge.us, click the pricing tab, uh, get you into the Discord, two weeks, all tools turned on, free trial, no risk to you. Um, if you don't like it, you can just send cancel to, uh, to the bot and it'll kick you out and you'll never get charged. Uh, if you do like it, we would love to have you and have you as a contributor. Uh, we have a lot of folks who contribute and uh, a lot of ideas and um, it's really a, a trader's uh, forum. Gam Edges with an S on Twitter, please follow us. And then here on YouTube, of course, if you like today's content, smash that like button, give me some feedback, and uh, of course, follow us. So next time Taylor and I and Michael post something, you get notified of it. So with that, I will bid you farewell. Hope to see you in the Discord, and hope that everyone is having a good trading week. Take care.